Hi everybody, PJ Kwong from CBC Sports here with Canadian champions and world bronze medalists Megan DeHamel and Eric Radford. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah. All right, so let's right off the top, you've got a great short program. Um, I've seen it online. Eric, I understand that you're responsible for the composition called Tribute. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I uh, composed the piece after my coach, uh, Paul Wirtz, passed away in 2006 and uh, decided that I wanted to develop it and produce it to skate to this year for the Olympics. And uh, it's come together amazingly, better than I could have hoped. Well, and you guys um, are, are sort of forward thinkers, I like to think, mm -hmm. I like to say. All last season, um, at the beginning of the season rather, you said that you wanted on the podium and you were very clear about your goals and I love the fact that you just put it out there. Guess what? At the end of the season, mm -hmm. you were on the podium. Tell me about your vision for this season. Um, this season, we want to remain on the podium, but yeah. we want to climb up a little bit higher. We'd like to challenge the, the top teams uh, in pair skating in the world. What would a perfect Olympics look like to you? Having two amazing uh, skates that just create that Olympic moment and uh, standing on the podium. When you say Olympic moment, what are you talking about, Eric? Um, that Tara Lipinski moment, mm -hmm. that Jamie and David moment, that you know uh, Elvis Stoiko moment, mm -hmm. where you go out and you have that skate at the, at the perfect time. And uh, when you hit that ending position and it all fell into place and you can do nothing but mm -hmm. smile. That would be fantastic. So tell me your biggest strength and biggest hurdle as a team. I think our biggest, uh. <laughs> I think our biggest uh, strength is our uh, athleticism, our technical content. And what was one of our biggest weaknesses might have been uh, our matching, our uh, unity as a pair, but uh, we've taken a, a different angle and a sort of different strategy with that this year with the long program, and uh, I think you know it's going to be it's going to intrigue people in a way that our skating hasn't. Well, and you know, I wasn't really talking weaknesses. I was talking about what you just said, a, a way of sort of improving on sort of the, the raw footage, if you will, of, of your pair sort of structure. So the fact that you've been able to really compensate for, for that uh, matching is really something. So anything else you want to tell us about the free program? Or should people just wait and see? It's going to be a good one. <laughs> That's the best thing of all. Thank you so much for talking to me. Megan DeHamel and Eric Radford. Thank you.